Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036359, 0703 768119. Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. This is uh, the final charge for this uh, retreat that God has brought us through. The transformed minister, transformed people. We began by reading in Romans 12. And so this morning we will conclude by reading Romans 12. Romans 12, we will read from verse 1. We will read from verse 1. I would like us to read it up to verse 11. If it were possible, you would have needed to read Romans 12 from verse 1 to the end because it's just good to take those instructions very, very seriously. But for our church, I would like to read it from verse 1 quickly to verse 11. I'd like to read in Yoruba this morning. Niturina mo fi iyonu olorun be yin ara ki eyin ko fi ara yin fun olorun li ebo aye mimo itewo gba eyi ni ise ise yin ti o tona ki ese ma da ara yin po ma aye yin Shubwa ki e parada Lati di titon Nino e reino yi Kye yi ki o le ri di fe o loron Ti o dara Ti o si she yi te wogba Ti o si kwe Nje mo wii fun o luku luku E ni a ti o wwa ni no yi Ni pa o re o fe ti a vi fomi Ki oma she ro ara re jubi yi o ti ye niri ro lò. Shubba an. Ki o le ro ni wà tu wà si. Pi o lò nò ti fi yi wà yi bà bò fun. O luku luku. Ito ri gè gè bi a wà ti. Li e ya kù bò ni nò ara kan. Ti bò bò e ya kò si ni i shè kanan. Bè li a wà. Ti a te kupo A te a ra kani no kristi A te o luku luku e ya A ro me ni ke jire Debi a wasi tin ri o to to e bon ba Gege bi o ri o fe ti a vi fun wa Bi o she i sotele ni Ki a ma sotele gege bi I wan i bagbo Ta bi i she i nan she ki a kò jù si i xè yè nan xè wà ta bi e ni tin kò ni ki o kò jù si ki kò ta bi e ni ti o ng bà ni ni yò jù si i bà ni ni yò jù e ni ti o ng fi yì fò ni ki o ma fi yì nò kan xè e ni ti o ng xè o lò ri ki o ma xè li o jù me jè jì e ni ti o ng xà anò Toma fi nou didon xe Ki 
fe ki o wa le aisetan e ma ta kete si ohun ti se buburu e farama ohun ti se rere niti ife ara e ma fi yonu fen ara yi niti ola e ma fi eni keji yi saju niti ise ti se e ma se si ole e ma ni igbona kan e ma sin oluwa may the lord uh, bring increase unto his word as we go from here this morning in the name of jesus christ we began by looking at this passage and it is appropriate that the spirit of god wants us to conclude our retreat from this same passage we have looked at the appeal that the holy spirit has brought to me and you i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god we have looked at the mercy in which we stand. We have considered what other were cut off from before we were brought in position. We have considered what God had to do to take away the native branches. Those whose fathers were the owners of the covenant those who by descent were the owners of the ministry those who by the obedience of their fathers were the inheritors of the oracles but who by unbelief disqualify themselves and they were cut off and the bible says if god did not spare the native branches never you think you can hold god to ransom if we will not serve him acceptably with fear and trembling but this morning as we go, what does God want me and you to do? There are a few instructions. Instructions unto the transformed minister. Engage in transforming ministry. Bearing the transforming message to produce transformed people. What are our instructions? What are the things we must daily, daily we will not wait until we have another retreat. We will not wait until we gather again. What is it that I must do daily as agents of transformation? Engage in the transforming ministry. Bearing the transforming message of reconciliation with the hope of producing transformed people ready for heaven can i begin by looking at instructions permit me to again repeat what we have said over and over but it's important number one present your bodies now we said you cannot present your body without being present am i right Brothers, this is a daily thing to do as you are going. Present your body a living sacrifice. Holy. Baba has spoken very seriously about personal holiness in the life of a minister. Present your body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God the Bible simply say that is what 
your reasonable service. When you have not done this, any other service you are doing is what? It's unreasonable. It is unreasonable for you to come on the altar when your own body has been contaminated with sin. It's unreasonable. Any other service you engage at the expense of your personal holiness of life is not is uncalled for. It's a waste of time. And it will not carry any reward. So brothers, as you go, present every blessed day. Present your body a living sacrifice. Present every part of your body, your faculty, a living sacrifice. We said, if it is living, it means it is active. It is strong. It is fresh. It is not obsolete. It is not evaporated. It has not become exhausted. When you are young, when you are strong, present your body to God. Excuse me, brothers. Don't let your eyes be used for anything outside the service to which God has called you. Even your eyes. David would not have had all the problem he had if not because he could not control where his eyes was going as he began to look at Uriah's wife. And you know, even though he had a very, very serious ministry that God gave him, that little omission of his life, there is no how you can tell the story of David and that dent will not appear. Don't dent your ministry because you could not control your eyes. Present your body, your eyes, your hands. These are dedicated hands. Hands that handle the holy elements on the altar. How can he also be fiddling how can the hands, holy hands that you have lifted to God, how can he also be fiddling with strange women? Your hands sanctified. Present it to God, holy. Anything that is contaminating, your hand must not touch it. These hands are already holy hands. Never use that hand to carry or to touch or to be involved with anything that is dubious. As you go now, you are a living sacrifice. You are a man that God has accepted and has put a seal upon and said this is my sacrifice. Your mouth. This mouth has been sanctified to pronounce blessing. And James says, the same mouth with which we use to bless, do we use the same mouth to cause? Said the Bible said, these things ought not to be so. Have you seen a sauce that produces bitter and sweet water at the same time? That blows hot and cold at the same time? These things ought not to be so. Your mouth has been dedicated to bring the, the message of the kingdom and to bless and to release the benediction of the Almighty upon people. That same mouth must not be engaged in anger. That same mouth must not be involved in foul language. 
That same mouth ought not to sing the songs of devils. You have dedicated this man to sing the praise of the Almighty. How can we, you remember the, the children of Israel when they were told to come and sing before the idols in Babylon and say, No! How can we use the mouth with which we praise the Almighty God to also sing songs unto the idols of Babylon? Can I ask you? You are a dedicated man set apart, sanctified for God's use. That which had been sanctified, are you hearing me, ought never to be used for anything contrary. I don't know how to remind you, but let me remind you. Let me remind you something that you may have forgotten. When the temple of Solomon was dedicated and everything was sanctified, including all the utensils, even ordinary utensils, once they sprinkle it with the blood and the anointing, it became holy. These are ordinary utensils. Now when Nebuchadnezzar came and took the children of Israel captive, he carried away all the golden things in the temple and went and put it in his house. But the day God was going to prove that you don't take what has been dedicated to God and use it for something else was the day when Bethsaza, you remember Bethsaza? I don't know who he don't know. He that word do not He sat in the midst of his friends. They started serving all kind of drinks. And it occurred to him, it is the dedicated utensils that he must use that day. He ordered them to go and bring all those utensils they used in the temple in Jerusalem that he would drink from me that day. As they brought it. Then he said, If you don't go see, you worry about the long run. Did you think when I can't be a single donor? Maureen, go. I saw a hand writing on the wall. Excuse me, brothers. When you take a dedicated thing to use it for unholy thing, a hand will be writing on the wall. We need to tell ourselves if you didn't want to be in the ministry, get out of it. But if God has given you opportunity and you have become consecrated for the work of God, for the work of the ministry, you are a consecrated man. Others can go anywhere they like. You cannot. Others can misbehave with little consequence. If you do so, a hand will write on the wall. It is not because you are just committing sin. It's because you are dishonoring God. It's because you are challenging the almighty God to battle. You can't wear this holy dress and behave as if you are an ordinary man. You can't carry the vessel of the Lord and treat it 
as if the Lord unto whom it was dedicated has lost his power. That same day, there was an handwriting on the wall. You have been weighed in the balance and you have been found wanting. And this night, you have finished. May you never, never dear the almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. When sin is inviting you, remind it, remember this message. I am a dedicated vessel. God has started drinking from my life. No devils will drink from it again. I have started to handle the holy things. And the Bible says, those of you that bear the vessels of the Lord, depart from what? Iniquity. Brothers, as you go, what will give authenticity to your ministry is that you remained a dedicated vessel in the hand of God. You may see other preachers making jests of their calling. You may see other pastors living recklessly as if the Lord has lost his strength to call them to order. May I advise you to whom much is given, much is required. May I remind you as you go from here, present your body, even your leg. There are limited places where you can go now. When I was talking to you about the priesthood of the Levites, do you know a priest who is robed must not see the dead? He must not have anything to do with dead body in those days. And if he had to do he went for seven days of cleansing. He will stay outside the camp before he can come back. Because you are bearing holy things. You don't contaminate yourself with the dead. Now, I'm not talking about dead physically. I think the Holy Spirit is dealing with the fact that anything that is of the dead anything that does not carry life, anything that is contrary unto the living spirit of God, God's servant, who bears the only things ought not to be what? Involved. Be ye separate because you are sanctified for a divine assignment. And as you go from this retreat, these are daily instructions. When you wake up, remind yourself, I am a dedicated vessel in the hand of the almighty God. I am a living sacrifice holy. I am a man on the altar. I have been called to bear the holy things of the holy God. I dare not make myself vile. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Spirit of God remind you this on a daily basis. May the Spirit of God himself supervise you every time in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your reasonable service. If we fail in this, whatever else we are doing is unreasonable. What is the next instruction to the man of God? And be not conformed to this world. I don't know. 
Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. The first aspect of that second instruction says, conformity to the world is a danger to the growth of your ministry. The world is against God. The Bible says, love not the world and the things that are in the world. Is that not what the Bible said? Say, Emma Shefia ye, Atikinio, Atun Ungbogotim, Benin, why ye into the Nitioba Fia ye, if a babaco sin in ore Ungbogotis in Benin, why ye, if a cuvetera, if a cuvetino, Tioju, Ati irera aye, Igberaga. Those are the things that are in the world. You cannot say you love God and you love the world at the same time. The book of James also kwe enyi kwa ama kwe e bari aye kini o ishota ni. There is no man who is at peace with the world system and is at peace with the almighty God. One of the things I would like to say to you as you go so that your ministry can continue to produce transformation in the midst of the people. Do not be conformed to this world. One version says, don't let the world squeeze you into its own mold. Don't let the world capture you and make you its own slave. The Lord Jesus Christ praying. Said they are in the world. But they are not of the world. We are ambassadors of Christ into the world. But we do not belong to the world. And the power of our ministry. Is in the reality of our standing separate from the world. You cannot conquer the world that has entered into you. Are we together? You cannot overcome the world that has already captured you. And I will write to say to you, the world system is very aggressive. The world system is moving very, very fast. And you see, as preachers, if there is anybody that is the priority that the world wanted to capture, it is you. Our world has become a little more easy. You know, in those days, it is difficult. For a man like you to wear your castle and go for film show in the cinema house. Abibeko, Ujuti Oje Nyeji Kone Jeka Edebe. Ana, Baba Pastor, Kile Wadebi O, Kile Nwambi, you won't even go near. When you see the young people pressing into the cinema hall, you can't go there. Even if you want to be a Lagberry, the way things were in those days, something makes you feel, ah, me can my wadi le ashewu. You will rather sit somewhere and wash you go wari. And you will have to run and be looking for somewhere where nobody will know you are. But the world system has changed. Do you know that cinema houses, nobody is using it again? When sometimes I see many churches buying over cinema houses, people think it's a revival. We didn't understand that the world system 
has gone beyond cinema house. You know what they have decided to do? You don't need to go anywhere. We will bring cinema to your bedroom. Some years ago, if you want to watch television, even in your room, and you put the television in the parlor, part of the problem was that for you to stand up from your bed, to go and change from one station to another, is difficult. You say, come and, come and play. But now, the world system has made sure that you don't need to stand up anywhere. He has put remote in your hand. And you can do like this. And you are scrolling into all kinds of channels. And now with DSTV and all the things they have brought, all the satellite, you can sit here like this. And you are watching 100 channels. And they are crystal clear. Crystal clear. Explicitly clear. Huru, 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 simbema. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of your systems that can fast forward and rewind. What is the world system doing? The world system is making it easier and easier to capture you. So right in your bedroom, you can be in the world. You can actually be in the cinema hall. You can actually, actually be involved in very explicit pornography. And nobody will know that the man of God has entered cinema. The Bajuma and setting a beam a laptop. One name created one web. You know when they call it World Wide Web. Can you do my web, sir? Can you web? I want a taco, a land taco. A taco. At one one, yeah. You know when they name it web, they know what they were saying. Te batiri a wa la nta kun eri bi ma se yen te ba rari wo bayi ke to bombe is a problem so when they call it world wide web is a web sometimes you say let me just look at that site 5 5 minutes you are there for 5 hours Sometimes unsolicited links. They call it pop up, Abi. I can jump on it. I am a girl dying to see you. Would you read them as you buy your Lord come here? And you will be looking at it being a pay life. If you want to see more, click here. On learning how. <laughs> on learning how. You that you used to have night vigil or prayer, you will now have night vigil inside the web. You won't know that you are there until four a.m. 
Whenever you feel like sleeping, honey, wait. Don't go. There is something more exciting coming. Not many people that went in came out. They know what they are doing. So the word of God comes this morning as you are going. Be not conformed to this world. The world is making it easier and easier and easier to be entangled with it. Do you know now? Do you know as I'm talking to you now? You actually don't need to go and look for a girl anywhere. You only need to go to Facebook. And discussion will be going on. You can be chatting. You can be chatting. And what they call chatting, enter Kuroso. And they have made it in such a way now that anytime bad Kuroso, you can be seeing her face. Only if you long, you know of Very dangerous things. Some are so wicked that they will take photographs of their private parts. If it all were real. Many preachers are entangled. Several pastors are in trouble. Many of their marriages are scattered. Because the man is hooked. It's as if he's checking something serious. There's nothing there. Itakunio. What is the instruction as you go this morning? Be not conformed to this world. Can I tell you a secret? If the world is totally useless, it will never attract you. There are some certain useful things in it. Am I correct? Certain useful, there are some useful things in it. Is it not useful? But you just, you just do like this. And you Skype. You know what they call Skype, sir? You Skype. You see your daughter that is in UK. In her bedroom. I want grandchildren. You and you. Is it not useful? Who oh, useful, Lord? But it's in Belen Yofa. Ojo Jello. When you want to catch fish, Clement VC. A board of fee. Kiloru Kodampe. Eh. FJ, sorry, you war. La BJ, Kilo Wambeo, you war. They would decorate EJ debate. You will never suspect that Ninu EJ, yo. There is no correct fisherman that will put in jail and forget to put a hook. If you will not do it, 
the greater hunter, which is the devil. How can he give you a death? Come off he, he, he was he. When has the devil become so friendly? When has the devil become so kind? So generous that he will give you a free lunch. They said there is no free lunch in London. You will pay for it. Every usefulness that the world system brings, look for the catch. You should be asking every time, and where is the catch? Unless we are conscious that behind every usefulness that the world system brings, there is a catch for the kingdom of darkness. And if we were wise, he said, you are in the world, but you are not of the world. Be ye therefore as wise as serpent, but as gentle as a dove. Many things appear useful and I tell you they are useful. Is it not useful that when you want to preach, you don't open Bible again because you don't want to open Bible again. I Come and scroll. It looks easy. Abi. But you know one of the first things he does is taking away our identity. In the days of persecution, Baba, when we are attacked by Jesus, go. Be belly lamb, I go by. So that bear me Bear me and wait, Jesse Belly Baji and walk it over to the belly fuck your low and ill. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, did that really, really, Emma. Emma, we were particularly instructed to buy Dick's Bible so that you carry like this. I'm a Jesus person. But now, it is old fashioned to be identified with carrying Bible. I can't move any can down in any. And you see, as our churches are growing, do you know that gradually people are coming to church without Bible now? Do you know that we are being tempted right now to do what you call overhead? Where we are putting any Bible verse you want to read, you put it there. So I want my jazz. Now let me remind you. What do they what do they carry home? You don't know that the issue tawa. But he walk is working gradually to block our memory of the word of God. Do you know that since answer came, how many numbers can any of you remember now on your head? Eh? You will know now that you don't use your brain anymore to cram anything. Because can and cram. In your t antichrist Toba Magba Joba. It doesn't take him one minute to wipe off all those memories. Everything that many of us are doing, they are advising you. Back it up in the clouds. 
They are collecting every information about you. One way to be. Just one by wipe her off by Bunduku, Bunduku. You'll be completely, completely unable to do anything. How many of you know now that gradually Bobo won't earn any bank? All the money you put in bank now, they are making it easy. It appears easy. Nobody asks for your name anymore. What are they asking for now? Your PIN number. So when the Bible talks about the Antichrist and the number that towards the end of the world, the only thing that will matter now is your PIN number. And once they punch your PIN number, all your particulars appear. And I hope you know now that by the advent of GPS, they can locate you anywhere. Is it being silo? But you see, the world system is making it, is presenting it on the platform of what? Pleasure, usefulness. And the child of God is not saying, where is the catch? What is this prince of this world wanting to collect? But can I remind you, the Bible said, let us use the world, but let not abuse it. Do you hear me? We should do what? We will use the world. But we must not abuse it. We must not be enslaved by it. We must continue to set our limits. As you go, sir, for your own life, be not conformed to the world. Don't become used to the world system. Hallelujah. If I can advise you, remain old fashioned. Deliberately keep yourself in the old school so as to be able to set the boundary beyond which the world system will not capture you. Did I say you should be unaware of what is going on in the world? No, please learn the computer because lies the computer that's where they are going. All of you must learn some basic computer so that you know how to operate. It has become the language. Nobody is sending letters to post office anymore. At the time we thought uh, at, at least when you want to send parcel. But nowadays with the scanner. Tell about the scan by the debiting law. The world has gone on. Technology has been so useful. But the brain behind it has a hook. Why we speak about a transformation in our generation, we have a world to contend with. We have a world that is encroaching, 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 encroaching. To capture our young people, you need to be fast in your thinking. You need to begin to say, oh God, what must we do to bring effective ministry to the youth? Because I want to Lord Juwalo. 
But now I'm asking you two questions. As you go from here, be not conformed to this world. Don't let the world capture you. But I'm first concerned about personal captivity by the world system. I say personal captivity. You need a deliberate attempt not to become a captive of the world around you. You must be very, very deliberate. If not, you'll be swept. I beg you, pastors, do you know now that we have come into a generation where you don't need to pray much before you get what to preach? You can just you can just type your your topic on the web and 20 different sermons will just come down. Even as you are preaching on the pulpit, once your modem is there on your iPad or something, right from the cloud, it drops. Hallelujah! The world system is making it possible now that you don't need inspiration before you deliver a very powerful sermon. And it does not cost anything for you to access the virtual library that has now been made available. To such a point that if you do not maintain your spiritual discipline, you can be a totally indisciplined minister and nobody will know for a long time. Nobody will know that you have not prayed. Nobody will know that this message you are preaching is not your hard work. Nobody will know that this beautiful sermon you have produced that you have just you just long 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 and it will look a powerful something in our own days we cram the word of God scriptures were in our head there were no even concordance when we started we are the one that formed our own concordance by ourselves. We jump from Leviticus to Hebrews to correlate and tie things together in our spirit. It doesn't happen like that anymore. You don't need to cram anything. Everything is already there for you on your fingertips. Where is the catch? You can be a preacher whose spirit is alien to the Holy Ghost. You can appear to be succeeding when your inner man has not really engaged God very seriously. When we were seeking to write books, it was such a serious work to try to write. You prayed, you walked. When you wrote, when you finish, there's a mistake. You tear it, you start again. The word has made life easy. Somebody can be preaching now. And what he preach by tomorrow is a book. What a matter for you. 
Because all the facilities to make that thing happen has happened. So it's not every book I see on the road that I buy now. Because not many of them are inspired. No many of them were born after the midnight cry. Not many of the materials we see now came out of the travail of the Holy Spirit over the soul of the authors. These were things that anybody cook, you just click. You drag, you drop, drag, drop, drag, drop, drag, drop. You give a command. Paragraph everything. Everything is set. And by tomorrow. And you don't even need to be going to all this old printing press. That man she let her press. That man press. That man press. Go see your man. Eh? Want to go to your man? Go see your man. I want to go to your man. You can actually have your printing press in your bedroom. Everything is set. And you know what I discover nowadays? There's now what they call print on demand. Charles, you know about print on demand. If we come for a meeting like this and want to produce a book, I'm a little low and be 300. We produce 300 for you. Finish. So you would think that this man is a big author. He run book way. But I said the world system will not have been attractive if it is not useful. Abi? There are usefulness that we must not ignore. I'm not asking you to go back to letter press. When already now there is a computer, computer to plate. We go lithograph it. I'm not saying by it. I'm a ya photo. I'm not saying by it. I'm a what a crew. We simple ya ma. I hate the law. It's nothing like that anymore. That kind of an shefi mi e da da kusimbe mo. Shey kwe bua wan photograph aye jo wan ti sosen no ba. How many of you now go to photo studio to do any photograph? Ah, you just bring your something, you take it, and write in your house. Your printer will print it for you, and. Whatever size is there. Any come have a photo, come have a nyaga, any can go see ma. I hit the bachelor. Many people have been rendered redundant. Now let me tell you why. Why? The Bible says in the end time, men will be lovers of pleasure. So you see, as the world system is making sure that hard work is no more important, it is replacing it by looking at your pleasure. So you can see now that Football has taken a different dimension. Pleasure. Any kind of pleasure. What the world system is looking for now is how to increase pleasure. And this is going to try to encroach the church unless God helps us. What is your instruction, man of God? Be not conformed to this world. Don't get entangled with their standards. 
but be ye transformed. By what? By the renewing of your mind. To continue to be a transformed minister and to keep being transformed, your mind must continually be what? Renewed. And the greatest weapon of keeping our minds renewed all the time is the word of God. The Lord will bless you as you go in the name of Jesus Christ. It is as you renew your mind daily that you'll be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Continue to think soberly. Don't forget where you are coming from. Don't forget where God picked you. Don't forget the grace that you have received. Don't take the grace of God in vain. Can I go quickly to verse 6? And I want to read verse 6 in Yoruba before I return to English. In the be I was sitting in Rio to a bumba. Gege bi ori o fe ti a fi fun wa. Bi o se isotele ni ki a se kini o ki a ma sotele gege bi iwon igbagbo. Tabi se iranse ki a koju si se iranse wa. That's the next instruction. And I want to put it very quickly. I am reading it from Yoruba because or what you want to say Yoruba o o o lo rin pupo what is that word oni to ba je ise iranse ni o ke se kini o ke koju si face your task concentrate on your ministry The grace that you have received, don't let it get into the grave. Tell somebody for me, grace is not for the grave. Grace, ori of a deriba, ori of a sheni. God of Bori of Emale. You will call it the Kajori Cavani. More bay, Pelua, no long of you, no long of bay. That's another place only. More fee, you know, long of bay. Pick a man bowry of your long naked yo, Lassa. Now, why am I coming back to conclude like that? Many times. Once we became ordained, one of the mistakes that happens to many ordained preachers is that they forget that the growth of your ministry, are you hearing me, is not the hierarchical promotion. Many times you are thinking that now I'm ordained. Now I'm going to be reverend. Then I'm going to become canon. I'm going to be... No! What actually promotes you is not the official promotion. It's your gift. If God has given you ability to teach the word of God, you are a teacher. Even though now you have been made a vicar, don't ignore your teaching grace. So that when they come to that parish, what will stand out in that parish is your teaching. Because Ori of it
Don't come into the ministry to forget what is the gift that you had. Do you know that some of you before before you were priested you were evangelists. But since you became a priest, what has happened to your evangelism now? All that remains now is that they are now carrying the cross in front of you. They are now moving like this. You look at the Baba. Amen. But that was not what brought you out. It was your evangelistic anointing that made you relevant. Why did you leave it? Why did you pack up your crusade equipment? Because you have been ordained? Why can't you carry your crusade equipment again and tell some young people, oh yeah, tell me I'm loving crusade. When ah, Baba Pastor on the crusade, yes. And the Dory Crusade Grant. Why will why won't you look at me? Say, you know, and as you are doing that, you preach the word of God. When souls are saved, I want my talk. Could I look at do come be do follow up for the next one week? We are coming back, and before you know it, a little church will start in that village. The archdeaconry may not have money to sponsor that new church. Okay. Oluwatoko wa jo yo se kini o yo fi di won mule. It is not that you have waited until until uh, the, the, the 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 bishop just decide to prefer. That's not the issue. Do you know that your little parish as you are going from evangelism here and there and you are planting little, little churches. Do you know that all those churches they will be answerable to your little church. Am I right? Eh? What are you planning to become gradually? You will soon become an archdeacon. Because what is an archdeaconry? How do you... Baba, can you, can you definition of archdeaconry? <laughs> Parishes that are under the control of an archdeacon. Supposing as a young preacher, you have gone here, you've gone here, you've gone here, and you have now started about 50 parishes. And while you are still waiting for them to give you priests, you have got your young men. You've given them the little training of how to conduct service, but particularly how to preach the gospel. And the churches are running. I want my jotu nini bi. Then I take a bad remark back bay and why you jotty alone on Muka, Kagbe Kaleni, on only Banla. Do you know that your little church will become a missionary church? Do you know that when they are giving, some of them will say, There is this motorcycle. Timoloku. Moro pe yo wulo fun brother Ayire Wale. Ki o fi ma lo so ni banla. Do you know that your church is becoming a giving church? Except the bishop is blind not to notice you. 
Because when you are coming for the Anglican Diocesan Convention, ti won kero bo. Ah, mbo le nyiti mbo a ako mwa joni. Mbo le le iti wak. A une ban la ni. A lak be deni yi. Kine ba iba iba. Mbo ni bubo nyiti yon wani a. A mwa baba pastor wa. A mwa ni anwa she crusade. Be lo luwa ti faranga wa. Wana ade ti da josi le. We have been waiting for you law bishop. Ke wa she confirmation fun wa. Do you know that? Baba will sleep. He will wake up. He will sleep again and he will wake up. By the third night, your preferment is on the way. You see, what will make you grow is your gift. The gift of a man makes a way for him. Don't come here and become dormant. There are some of you that the gift of God is exhortation. God has given you power to preach. Whenever you preach like this, hearts of people are broken and warm. Don't lose that in administration. Not all of you are administrators. Let's understand that. It's not all of us here that God has given the gift of administration. But you know, unfortunately, we think administration is the highest. No. The grace that God has given you, a bajuma. Tobajeti kikoni ni eko jusi ikoni. Tobaje igbani ni yaju ni kini beni geshe o egbajuma. So that every time you know the more you use your grace the more it increases. Every time tabak bekanga whenever tabak bekanga tabak wakanga the first omita akwambe so she mu don't be discouraged the first layer of water that comes out of your well might not look drinkable but there is no other way to reach the drinkable water until you fetch out that undrinkable many people are, are unable to engage their gifts because the first time they went out for crusade, nobody repented. The second time they went, nobody repented. The tenth time they went, they saw no results. There's no problem with that. As you keep fetching, fetch all that be No, it's the part of progress of reaching the level of usefulness. Are you hearing me? How many preachings have I preached in my lifetime? Tell me, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Sometimes I will go back home. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm going to go back again. Go back again. The only way to reach the drinkable water is to keep fetching. And as you fetch, is the normal process. I can see some of you, you are looking for signs and wonders. But then you offend your rara. I do a lua majan shashedano. No. 
gbogbo awon to se ase yori ase danu ni akoko se I'm sorry yo ba so ro so ani a abara gbele mo fi yen kun mo fi yen kun so pe ase gbere la ma se ase gbere la ma se it's all right ase gbere le ma se o But I must tell you the truth. Every man that you see standing today, they are falling 50 times. But do you know that every time you went out, you preached, no result. There's a result. It's just that the result is invisible. It has sharpen your life more. It has cleared your truth more. It has brought more confidence into your ministry. It has brought you into a better position with God. It has increased your prayer life. If you don't make an attempt, you will never make any progress. Can I charge you as I conclude this morning? As you go from this meeting, a kojusi share and share. Are you hearing me? You might just be an assistant under a senior minister, and all that they have been assigning you to do is many a jobs. Do it well. In that parish, look at so many, many people that you could have just sat with, cancelled them in the word of God, and when you finish, carry them and go and meet Baba Venerable Baba. And you are there. Do you know that what you have done? You are growing. But some of you, you know what you have done? You have suspended your grace waiting until they will give you a parish. When you have already perished your grace, what will you use in the parish? somebody again. Grace is not for the grave. Please tell somebody. Don't wait until you say, when, the, when I'm now posted to my parish, my dabira, kosibira, can't order. Kosibira, can't order. Autorikwe, bogwe oti, bogwe oti, nyige koto debe. Engage your grace. Engage the gift of God as you go. As soon as we leave Ologun now, begin to ask, Lord, all your fetal for me, how do I use it? Some of you alone for any all your fair a benny woe. He that exalted on exhortation, he that give and let him do it with simplicity, he that rule it with diligence, he that showeth mercy. With cheerfulness. Whatever God has given you, go and do it. That's what will bring increase to the ministry. Are we together? That is what will bring transformation first to your ministry and to the people under you. There is no magic about growth in the ministry. When I met you, I said, Yes, when the man of God. Just raise your hand, young. The spirit just, just, just kuribe. We see it jebe. I saw the name. What can I do? We love already. If it's a genuine life, a genuine life grows. It's only Christmas tree. No man, no man, re overnight. But if it's a genuine life, it grows. 
Please, sir, take time to grow your grace. Take time to engage your gifts. Take time to exercise. Exercise. Excuse me. Exercise. That's what will make you vibrant. Go and exercise your spirit. Do you know for me? Being what you are doing, you are doing a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Are you hearing me? I will be one of the first in my late Lord David who will miss you. Ali Ojade! Ali Ojade! Ali Ojade! Ali Ojade! You know what I'm doing? Be miss you, Ojade. Ojade. I am exercising myself. My spirit is moving. My heart is moving. I cannot be doing that. In case you want to convert, convert them, me will. No. And by the grace of God, your daddy loony, your daddy lola. That's how to develop the grace of God in your life. To develop your teaching gifts. That's how to do it. Don't wait until they will invite you to come and teach a whole houses. There are some five young people. They will come. Am I right? Prepare Bible study as if you are preparing for 1,000. Sit on those five boys. What you are doing is that you are sharpening your gifts. They will grow. And as their lives are affected, what look and what then when magic can say, Baba Pastor, hey, a cobbly to Kwani or Joe Tuesday. It's a special class, Unkowa, 10 to 11, Laman Losibe Laro. Tobaraye, join us. Very soon it will become 7, it will become 10, it will become 15, it will become 100. That's the growth. That's the growth. There's no magic about growth. To grow is to grow. Am I right? The only way to grow is what? Is to grow. May the Lord strengthen you. May the grace of God in your life may ye burst forth. Curio of your Lord, who could your Lord, ye ye. Finally, finally, I'm jumping to verse 11. That's the final thing I want to say. You can go through all others. But verse 11, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit. Doing what? Serving the Lord. Niti se si se e ma si ole e ma ni igbono kan e ma sin oluwa as you go from here niti se si se o kini be like e ma se o not slothful in business don't be slothful don't procrastinate what you should do now the man you should visit with the word of God don't say I will go next week. The place you can go today don't say tomorrow. Be urgent with what God has given you to do. Don't be slothful. Let me inform you sir. And this is what I like to say to any man. Do you know that whatever anybody is using you to do, even if it is, even if it's like a punishment, it is you that is being developed. Are you hearing me? 
they may get the immediate benefit oh, but the permanent the permanent growth is yours it's not theirs but you are going vicar here that my senior priest could you have me a man for me call me he sends me to places where there's nothing Imagine to send me the job to defend a cool time. Do you know that if you go to a church that is dying, even if it is by punishment, and you got there, and the foolish she, and the church revived, and just when you are about to settle down. November. Reverend Let me tell you. Do you know all of that is you that is being developed? Go, go, really? All the experiences that you are getting in all those places, nobody can take it from you. The anointing that will break forth from your life is yours. It's not theirs. They are only making you more versatile. Don't be slothful. Take everything that happens to you as opportunity to grow. Hallelujah. Don't complain about anything. It is your opportunity to develop. If they give you an impossible task, and they now give you a deadline. If you don't do this. And. It might look as if they were taskmasters. Like the taskmasters of Egypt. Do you know that what Egyptians didn't know. Is that what they were using the children of Israel to do. They were only making Israel. A formidable nation. That they will not be able to withstand tomorrow. Do you know that Egypt had money? But Egypt can never withstand Israel up to tomorrow. Why? They developed them. The resilience that Israelites had, that even if there are only 200 in a place, they tell themselves we are able to take over. The reason why up to today all the nation of the world could seek Edward Brewer with them Palace Ready Lori. Whenever they are Prime Minister about the Dani, that's what we are doing. <laughs> you can't stop them. How did they become like that? When they suffer in Egypt, something was developed in them. So even though the whole world was ready to crush them, they remain uncrushable. Even when God wants to use you, it's not arbitrary. He trains you. In business, because Turn to the back. Turn to the back. You're going to say, Bro, my your learning will say, my your learning, my your learning. Emma fi imele, Emma fi shise olua. Eni go na okan. The Bible is saying, be fervent in spirit serving the Lord 
That's my final word to you. Let me tell you the truth is this. Be fervent in spirit. Serving who? The Lord. May I remind you. You are not serving church members. I want to look where you see Shay. That look where you. That's the one you are serving. Babani Archie Kinri. Shall I look where you see Shay? So, whom are you serving? The Lord. You must keep remembering that I am in this diocese serving who? The Lord. Under the administration of my Lord Bishop. Under the supervision of the Archdeacon. Under the guidance of my supervising priests. But it's the Lord I am serving. Eni gonoka ema siolua as you go from this meeting, don't forget that your service is to the Lord. And the Lord you serve, Olumetoni. Kinmokuluwa Olumetoni. Only God is not unfaithful to forget your labor of love. Aye, legbagbe. Shimoluwa koni igbagbe. Orebi Jesu kose la ye ye. Jesu ni kan lore o tito. Ore a ye ye. Le koni sile. Shukma Jesu koje igbagbe wa. Koje igbagbe wa. Koje igbagbe wa. Koje bagwe wa, koje bagwe wa, ole o tito. Jesus Christ, koje bagwe mi, koje bagwe wa, koje bagwe wa, koje bagwe wa, koje bagwe wa, ole o tito. Jesus Christ. Let's go to God in prayer now. We have been here for these past several days. And it is time for us to move. We have been on the mountain top. We are going now to the valley of our services. Can you pray this morning? Uluwa. I present my body a living sacrifice. I am a dedicated vessel. Ayo ni iri mimulo. Esio ni iri mimulo. I want to be sasa ayo yi. O ni fi mi muti inyagan. Eje kagwa adora. Pray about that first. I am a vessel unto honor in the hand of God. Set apart for his use. It will not be used for anything else. Let me pray. I dedicate my body, my mouth, my eyes, my leg, everything about me. A holy sacrifice. E she oni ri mi lo ma. E she oni wano a go mi. I am set apart for God. Set apart for his glory. Lord. As I go from here. I go with an understanding. I am yours and yours forever. Egbadua, just pray to God, pray in your spirit anyhow.
Dedicate yourself to God and as I'm going, I'm going, oh God, bearing the only vessel, me myself, I'm that vessel of the Lord. Ah, God, set apart for Jesus. Lord, help me. In holiness, becoming acceptable unto you every day. Lord, I go. Lord, I go. Fought in thy name, O oh Lord, I go. My daily labor to pursue the only thing resolve to know or think or do. I take a corner, you like a seal. Oh, Lua me, Munja. Jade Lord, let me me One more time, oh, Lua me. My daily labor to pursue the only thing resolve to know. Miru Atinishe. The second prayer, Oluwak Bamilo Waye. I will not be conformed to the world. I will not be entangled by the world system. Let us pray right now. I will not be conformed to the world. I will not be trapped by the world. I will not become a captive of the world system. Let us pray. Let us pray. What did you do to Bante? Or alone, or do Leno Mama? A Badua La Roye, Oluak Bamilo Waye, Mata Kaye, Corre Milepa. Don't let the world system cripple me. Mata King Kus, Mata King Kusana be a fee. Ini ajo to bere nu aye mi yi mo medele o logo oluwa mo medele o logo please pray please pray day by day we are in the world but we are not of the world ife ku fi aye ije ku je aye I woku waye koni re milekba eba olorun soro call on the lord this morning the world system is very very trickish many that started where they have become captives many that have the grace of god on their lives they have not started telling stories it a rosonian faye won so bayi Olorun Olodumare mo me dele o mo me dele o mo me dele ologo 
Made king kusei, made king king kusona bie fio. Made king ayos, ayos somida kurete. Everything the devil is doing, every attempt of Satan to destroy, to captivate, to render you impotent as you go from this retreat, determine under God. I will not fail. Uluwang wo ni shubo. Ekbadua wo e ni shubo arao. E ni shubo e mi o. Ayi o ni ri ni mo. E se o ni so ni de ni e ni o. Ekbadua. Pray. Pray. Kine hon ton ke ramu ramu ye. Ton wo ni ti o paje ko ni ri ni mo. Call on the name of Jesus this morning. As I go from here, I go victorious. Oni e nyo mami, e nyi ti shegu aye, to ri anything be no yi, to anything be no aye lo. Olu ayo sonyi di a shegu, e o si ju a shegu lo, in your ministry, you will be victorious. You will rule over the world. The world will not rule over you. Thank you, Father. Marakashando Roboscuria. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I do a diddle. I do a diddle. To be me lock or lay. Law, Ni a koko adwa dido Boti komi ki wujure Ki mbekele ki nsigwa go Kogwa gwa ni Mile lia koko adwa dido Anyi ya mile lia koko Mo fe ke ko gba ni ya yin le olorun ni oni o n gbogbo ti se aniyan lori ise ran se yin on gogo ti enyin o te tin ba ti jakade e te ka ko si waju olorun ni awakati adua la wa ye o king wo jure king be kale king se gbagbo o bo ago arasile Ode goshe adwa dido marakashando roboskuri agbara 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 toju agbara lo ki oluwa ko gbe wo yin e bere fun agbara la ro igbe oluwa agbara toju agbara lo agbara ajagun segun agbara aseyori Agbara ti wo lorun fi mu awon omo odo re duro ni ojo lo ni loruko Jesu gbe agbara yen wo mi Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Kima kando robo shada ba kando robo shiba Rika sanda raka baba kondo robo shinda ba kaura Olorun Olorun Mesiwa Uluwa misi ya mwomodore la aroyi 
Oluwa so won di alagbara so won do tun ran wa jade pelu ore ofe re ni oruko Jesu Oluwa wa adua keta ta ti ma pari eyi ise to luwa gbele yin lowo yi aje yi le o je oni bi ati ri ototo ebun gba ori sirise ebun ti olorun ti gbele yin lowo yi to ba je iso tele ni ke gbajuma to ba je igba ni ni aju ni ka gbajuma affect bad do i want to pray that the grace of god in your life is not for the grave agba ladu ake oluwa ori ofe ti mo gba yi o ani sin mo bo sare ori ofe yi nigba ti mo wa laaye ti mo wa laaye mi oni won fi lo fogo re ori ofe to gbe wo mi yin ko ni baje ma mi lowo mo lori ofe yi fun itesi waju yin rere let us pray right now that your gifts your grace your anointing is not for the grave oku oko leyin o alaye ni o ma yin o baba Alaye ni o ma yin o o ma o ku to ti ku ko le yin o alaye ni o ma yin o baba wa alaye ni o ma yin o baba alaye ni o ma yin o o ma o ku to ti ku ko le yin o alaye ni o ma ye o baba wa e gba ladu agbe oluwa ngo ni ku ti mo fi sise yin rere yi ori ofe yi ko ni ku ma mi lara emi mi ma ti mo gba ko ni ku ma mi ninu gbogbo iran ti olorun fi fun yin ke to wonu ise yi all the vision god gave you it will not die in your stomach e te ka gbadura gbogbo ifororo yan ti oluwa gbe le yin lori ko ni ku ma yin ninu o ara o ni ku ma yin ninu e dara ni e ni eyi gan gan ara o ni ku ma yin ninu call on god this morning there's something you call me to do There's something you want to achieve in my life. It must not die in my stomach. My vision must not die in my stomach. My vision must not die in my belly. It must come to pass. It must become fulfilled in my lifetime. Oluwa igbo na okan. Igbo na okan lati se ise yi lati si Oluwa loju mejeje. Lord give it to me. Release me unto greatness. Release me unto fruitfulness. O ku to ti ku ko le yin o alaye ni o ma yin o baba emi alaye ni o ma si o baba Emi alaye ni o ma si o omo o o ku to ti ku ko le si o alaye ni o ma yi o oh my god listen maybe you don't understand the prayer this is the final prayer in the name of jesus Niboni John Wesley wa loni Niboni John Wesley wa loni o otiku Aja yi crowder nibon baba wa loni o otiku Samuel Rutherford nibon lo wa loni o won tiku 
Mose, anybody Mose alone yo. God said to Joshua, Moses, my servant is dead. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Igba lo ni gba aka. I want to ti si share yin rere won ti ku. Akoko ti yin lele. Wa so for Lord, we will take that song. Emi alaye lo le lo le sin o. Edikaya so fun Olorun pe Oluwa soun pe oku o le sin o. Emi ti mo wa laye ni won si share re. Ori ofe ko si ni ku ma mi ninu. Ara to lo fa ye emi da ko ni ku ma mi ninu. Iran to ofi han mi kin to wonu ise yi. Ko ni ku ma mi ninu. Nigba ti mo wa laye ni ngo rogo re. Are you ready for that prayer? Oluwa ma je ki ngo kan ge kan ge. Ki nto debito on nami. Ise to ofi nami yo. Nigba ti mo wa laye ti mo wa laye mi. O ni ngo je ishe na. We are going to beg God with that prayer. And what you are saying to God in that song ni pe Oluwa to repay Allah ye ni o le sin o oku to ti ku o le sin o gugu awon to ti ku a le so ni pa ti won ma ise won n to won leyin but now i am the one alive if we are talking about where are the ministers of the four dioceses you are the ones whatever does not happen in these dioceses now in your time it's your fault mo fe ke ke gbe adura pe oluwa o Alaye ni o ma sin o baba Alaye ni o ma sin o omo o o ku to ti ku ko le sin o Alaye ni o ma sin o o ku to ti ku ko le sin o emi alaye ni o ma sin o Alaye ni o ma sin o baba O ku to ti ku ko le sin o ma Alaye ni o ma sin o A o ku to ti ku ko le sin o ma Alaye ni o ma sin o Emi ni o lo fogo re oluwa ma foku ta robo mi o baba olola emi ni ko lo fogo re oluwa e je ka gbadura bayi e je ka gbadura bayi pe oluwa ninu thousands yi emi alaye ni mo sin o emi olorun olodumare ni won gba ti mo wa laaye ti mo ti ku je ki se re ko te si waju lowo mi e gbadura iwon abo odun to ku ni waju mi o ngo rogo re ise re o ni yin ge mami lowo ase yo ri hin rere yo je yo ni gba ti mo wa laaye bi oluwa ti wa laaye ti emi na si wa laaye ngo ri oko olorun e je ka gbadura e je ki agbadura ilaja lo so pe bi oluwa ti nbe laaye ti emi na si wa laaye those are men who determine to see the glory of god in their lifetime o ku to ti ku ko le sin omo Emi alaye ni o ma sin o baba O ku to ti ku ko le sin o Emi alaye ni o ma sin o Olorun Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Ah baba Oh, Robo Shata, ya, ba, 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 ba.
I stand before you this morning again. As long as I live, I will serve you. As long as I live, oh Lord, I will serve you. This grace is not for the grave. This grace, oh God, is not for the grave. This grace in my life is not for the grave. I must exploit your grace to the fullest to bless my generation. To bless my generation. Lord, I'm begging you this morning. Your grace in my life is not for the grave. Yeah, kuri boshaka ya ba ba ba. Kole ni o, ala ye ni o ma ni o ba ba. Emi ala ye ni o ma si o. Emi ala ye ni o ma si o ba ba. Oh, kuto tiku, wo le si o ma. Emi ala ye ni o ma si o ba ba wa. Thank you, Father, this morning. Thank you, Father, this morning. Lord, I'm praying. I stand before you as your servant this morning. We have talked about men of old. Want to come to law? I want Baba Wani no ibago. Want to come to law? I want his son. Emilo Kubayo. These thousands must not go wrong while I'm alive. Help us this morning. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. I want you to stand and lift up your hand to God. That song to move a colour meta is a declaration. I want to take you to listen. I want you to see that you man will let you down. See, see, see. You man want to want to dance. You see, you need budget. You want to go. Allah, you need your mercy, oh, Baba. Allah ye ni o ma si o o ma o kuto tiku kole si o ma Allah ye ni o ma si o o kuto tiku ah kole si o ma Allah ye ni o ma si o Baba wa Allah ye ni o ma si o Emi ni ngo masi o A o kuto tiku Kole si o ma O ma Baba o kuto tiku O Lord Jesus Mo wa veke go ba o she kole keta yi o E mi ni ngo ma si o baba E mi ni ngo ma si o o ma O kuto tiku kule si o E mi ni ngo ma si o O kuto tiku kule si o E mi ni ngo ma si o Now we take out you will not put your hand on your heart. Be a mini or a mini mosio. A mini mosio. A mini mosio. A mini mosio. Oh, kuto tiku kolesio. I want Moses. I want Elijah. I want Jeremiah. I want Isaiah. What is it? What is the law? A miloko, a miloko. Oh, kuto tiku. Oh, kuto.
Kuto Tiku Collection Emiloku Emiloku Now I want you to look at your cathedral Look at every parish To look to you see Five years ago, ten years ago, you were not in this position. Olon wagbe yisibe. Pe paru tu to ba leta. In to ba ma she shekari. Ofeke ba ipe nija inwaju olon loni. I want to take your position this morning. That over that cathedral where you are the provost. Or you are the dean over that archdeaconry where God has made you the archdeacon, or the supervising priest. Okuto tiku kule si alonu nebe yema taniyo si alonu nebe yao emi ala yeni. So you take your stand now, put your hand on your head, the second hand egg besuwa ju alonu. Eminengo masio baba Eminengo masio O kuto tiku kulesio Oluwa na mi lowo o O kuto tiku kulesio Eminengo masio one more time. A meaning oh my in that diocese, in that archdeaconry, in that village. Okuto tiku kole sioma. A meaning oh my Okuto tiku kole our father this morning we take responsibility for what happens in these dioceses because any only what to bawashi i want to take you to listen your mom i want isaiah I want Jeremiah. I want Moses. Nehemiah. What is she doing? John the Baptist. Who she here? Paul the Apostle. Who she here? Peter. John. What she doing? What the law? Bogo. I want to take bed. Did they think she doing? Think about she doing? Think about it. What the law? Okuto tiku kolesi yoma o oluwa o ye wa ye ke ye ke la ro yin pe igba lo ni gba nka o igba ti wa lo de yi o igba ti wa lo de yi o afi owo wa si owo re la ro yi loruko jesu christi wa gbe wa ro Ara to lo faye wada Ara na o ni kuma wa ninu Ira to o fi han wa Gogo a so tele to ti so lori aye wa Ta fi gbo ipepe ise ranse ni ka pari aye wa si La ro yi loruko Jesu Christi Gogo ira na ko ni kuma wa ninu o Ipere lori aye wa koni mo oko Ogo to ogbe wa wa koni wo mi Ni oruko Jesu Christi A o ni wo egbe fi di wo ninu aye o Ako wi pe eyin o ma mi E ti segun won and you just shake one hand to the end. You don't bend on your joy or do anything. Bend on a yellow. Agbara aja shagun. Lord God Jesus, we are going to war. 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 
ise to gbe le wa lowo ajeye la o je aseye la o se ijo anglika oni doku ma wa lowo ihin rere koni baje ma wa lowo tori oku to ti ku ko le sin omo emi loku kin sin o amaye igba titi wa toku sugbon iwon ba toku yi ori ofe to gbe sinu aye wa ani sin mo sare ori ofe yi yo me so wa ori ofe yi yo di ajara ori ofe yi yo mu itesi waju ba ijoba re ni aro yi olorun ya wa si mema igbona okan ta fi le si oluwa takun takun loruko jesu gbe wo awon omo odo re ba se kuro lori oke yi tan lo si bi ti iwo olorun ran wa loruko jesu ma ba wa lo ni oruko jesu ma ba wa lo ni agbara je jesu ma ba wa lo fi a se ba wa lo fi a se re fi oro re mule lenu wa gbogbo ta ba gbede kan ma gbe won de lorun gbogbo awon ta ba tu sile loruko jesu ma tu won gbogbo bi ta ta ba fi oro re so ya fa won eyan loruko jesu ko ma je o ku to ti ku ko le sin omo emi ni ngo ma sin o o ku to ti ku ko le sin omo emi ni ngo ma sin o baba and as we go lord let your face shine upon us You are the Lord that has the keys of David. When you open no man can shut. And when you shut no man can open. And we hear you saying, "Behold, I have said before you an open door." Lord, we ask, let the door of ministry be open to your servants. Let the door of utterance be open to your servants. ki lekun ase yori ko si fun yin ki lekun ase jere ase yege ko si fun yin ki lekun irere ko si fun yin ki lekun ogun olorun ko si fun yin ki orun ko si lori aye yin ki oluwa ko rojo ibukun ki oluwa ko rojo ibukun sori aye yin sori idile yin Sori awon omo yin Sori ijo yin Sori ise yin Ko lu ako rojo ibukun Si ori dausis ti Oluwa gbe yin si Ko je pe ni igba ti yin Ise Oluwa yo tesi waju Life for tagbe Ise Oluwa nlo Ogo ni fun baba Ogo ni fun omo Ogo ni fun emi mimo ni oruko Jesu Kristi Oluwa wa